talking about the blueprint. What is the blueprint? Well, the blueprint has been created by Tableau itself by surveying their bigger customers. Um, they basically asked them, okay, how did you grow to tens of thousands of Tableau desktop users, tens of thousands of Tableau server users? What did you do? What worked? What didn't work? And by collecting all of these answers, they put them all together in what they call the blueprint, which is basically a methodology or a roadmap on becoming successful yourself with, with using Tableau. The blueprint itself exists out of three main parts. The first part is agility. And agility, the main focus of agility, or let's say high level agility is all about your Tableau server or your infrastructure. Uh, making sure everything is all right for potential growth or for, for a potential spike in usage. The second big part is proficiency. How proficient are your users with using the tool? Do they know how to interact with dashboards? Do they know how to filter? Do they know how to download underlying data? And do they know when they should stay away from Tableau? Because that's also a typical mistake we see a lot of customers. Um, they buy a new data visualization tool, in this case Tableau, and suddenly every single report within the entire company has to be created within this new tool. That's not always the best approach. There are cases that, for example, Excel is still really useful or a different visualization tool fits the use case better than Tableau. We have to be honest about that part as well. So proficiency is making sure that your users know how and when to use the tool. Third and big part is community. And community talks about creating some buzz around the tool, making sure people see the value it brings to their day-to-day -day jobs and, and understand how, how to use it to gain some advantage to it. Of course, on top of all of these, we have some trusted and governed processes. And it's not these three buzzwords that will immediately make sure you become successful or increase adoption. No, there's more behind this in what's the actual blueprint. This is what the actual original blueprint by Tableau looks like. Um, I'm not going to explain it on this image because, of course, Bistory created a, a small uh, adjusted version that incorporates our colors a bit better. And you'll see these three terms that we just talked about popping up uh, on the right side again, agility, proficiency, and community. And every single element that we see on this, what people often call a metro map or a subway map, um, we can basically stop and invest some time on a specific topic to become better um, at that specific topic. Because behind every element, there is a list of tasks, best practices, implementation tips and methods on how, how to do it in the best possible way. You no longer have to come up with your own list of tasks or your own list of to-dos. Tableau is basically giving them to you for free now. You can cherry pick the tasks or ideas that you really like and just move aside the other tasks. That's how you will be creating your own personalized roadmap to create your own data culture and increase your own um, adoption rate. Um, so it's not purely an image that shows some, yeah, some words on top of it. No, behind the image, there are more than 70 tasks for you to choose from. And what's the best way to start? Well, that also depends on what you have been doing within your company already. It could be that you've been working with Tableau for a few years or a few months, and you already have a project team in place, and, and, uh, and you also provide quite some support to your users already. That doesn't mean you have to skip these elements because there will most likely be elements in there uh, where you can still learn something from. So by using this image with all of the tasks behind it, we as Bistory and as the CSM team within Tableau try to help all of our customers to define the most perfect roadmap for them to become successful.